Hey, welcome to Mission Endure number three. This is a, a rain barrel that we've been using this year to water our garden. Started it last year, it worked pretty well. It takes um, water from the downspout, runs it through the rain barrel so you can save it for later use. This one actually takes um, the water runs off our roof and into the deck above our uh, little patio here. And the deck collects all the rainwater, runs everything from the roof and the deck down into that downspout into the rain barrel. It's 55 gallons. It's full. It's been below freezing for about a week. It was frozen solid uh, yesterday, two days ago. The last two days we've had above freezing weather. Um, yesterday was in the 40s, today's in the 60s, and started to drain it. I'm going to go ahead and get the drain going on it again. Probably take a half hour for it to drain out. Here's what it looks like on the inside. If you've never seen the inside of a rain barrel. I guess I'll leave the lid off there. It'll help it drain a little bit better. But uh, Water for the garden doesn't need to be potable drinking water it just needs to have a good collection source and we collect it off this has been in here for a couple of months it's got some dust in it. it's got some bugs in it it's perfectly fine for the garden not something you'd ever want to drink so um, I have some ideas next year for a different rain barrel setup thinking about building some wood benches over here in the corner of our patio and tying in that root downspout there and another downspout up near the top of our covered patio you can see in the top of the photo there and down in this area putting a wood rain bench that you can sit on that'll hold about 400 gallons of water and then we can use it to come down here hook up a small pump to it and use it to run our sprinklers and water our garden down there. Um, actually in Illinois, right where we live, the cost of water is cheap until you use it to irrigate your yard. And I think we're paying about $100 a month to use it. And last year we used it three times all year. So um, it rains enough here to keep the lawn fairly green. And I think I can supplement it with the rain barrel for the other parts of the year so we won't even need to hook up to the spring, uh, sprinklers to the city ir irrigation or ir water system. So I try and do that with rain barrels next year. I may try and put another rain barrel over here in this corner of the patio. Anyhow, looking at rain barrel technology, it could help us save quite a bit of money and be a lot more self-sufficient. Everybody have a great weekend.